to show you how to do the holdback straps on your shafts. This is my hyperbike, but most shafts are similar in that they have footman's loops, which can be located here. They can be further forward and located here, but they should never be behind the flank swirl. So mine is located here, and now I'm going to do the wrapping so you can see how that's done. All right, so the buckle's on the top there, and that's how it comes out of the ring. And then you're going to just feed the back of that strap through the footman's loop, like so. Making sure that it's laying flat and that the buckle faces up. And then on my hyperbike, I have to wrap three times. So one, two, three. And now I'll take the end of that strap and tuck it back through my first wrap. Under my first wrap makes a little X. That locks it down. And then I'll buckle it. On this side, I'm going to show a few things that can be different. So if your footman's loop is further forward, maybe your strap's a little short, and all you can do is run it through the loop and then buckle it back, that's how you would do that. This is if you only have, if you can only do two wraps, one, two, and then you would tuck it back under your first wrap and buckle it. That's if you can only do two. And now I'm going to show you again how I do it on my bike. So here's the footman's loop run the strap through, make sure the buckle's on top, everything's flat. Now I'm going to wrap it. One, two, three, and now I'm going to tuck that end under my first wrap and buckle it. And now I have my secure braking system engaged on my hyperbike.